Celtic are not saying that Aja can't leave. Angry Aja, absolutely furious, broken promises, constantly moving goalposts, lack of professionalism from club. Chris Aja's unhappiness surrounding Celtic's handling of his transfer away from Celtic. The Norwegian international defender believes that he has an agreement with the Celtic board that allows him to leave this summer after initially agreeing to stay on last season to help with the ill-fated 10 in a row campaign. Celtic have resisted approaches from bargain hunters Newcastle United as well as Norwich City and Bayer Leverkusen for Aja with the figures reported to have been around the £12 million mark. Shrewd shoppers Brent Ford, newly promoted to the Premier League, came in at around £15 million but Celtic rejected that too, looking to maximise the value of the transfer to assist in the Angie Postacogla rebuild. Now the Norwegian Celtic fan writing on the cynic has added his own informed Tuppum's worth to this, taking to social media yesterday evening to state, understand from sources close to Christopher Ager that he is absolutely furious with the way Celtic management has dealt with his situation the last two months. He feels there's been broken promises, constantly moving goalposts and a lack of professionalism from club. Yet Celtic are not saying that Aja can't leave this summer, they are simply trying to maximise the price that they can get for the player that they have developed over these last five years from a midfield prospect signed for £500,000 to an international central defender who will be worth considerably more to the club signing him as soon as he agrees his new contract. Aja could opt to sit out the season, as appears to be the Olivier Nochem plan, after he failed to get a free transfer at the end of June. With Celtic taking up the year option on his deal, Aja could opt to do the same thing, and that would be a costly move for Celtic, reminiscent of the rejection of the £12 million Fulham bid for Boyata in August 2018. Yesterday I also told you about Boson Lawal. He appears to have moved closer to joining Celtic with a three-second video slip emerging on Twitter. One eaglide fan, or someone close to the player shared the short clip yesterday as the 18-year-old and three others approached the main entrance to Celtic Park. Lawal is currently a Watford player, but should be able to join Celtic for a minimal fee, after two years in the academy of the newly promoted EPL side. Don't say I told you so. In other Celtic transfer news, Celtic have overcome the contract snags that have called their pound four million plus move for Swedish centre-back Karl Starfelt. New boss Angie Postacogler is stepping up his hoops rebuild and is also on the brink of signing pound 3.5 million rated Israeli winger Lear Labada. Now he has switched his attention to Rubin Kazan defender Starfelt and Swedish media outlet Expressen.se claim a fee has been agreed and only a medical stands between the international and a four-year deal at Parkhead. They quote the fee as 50 million Swedish kroner for the fee, which works out at over £4 million. His former club IFK Gothenburg are set to receive a sell-on fee of around £400,000. That had been a problem for the Russians, but the hoops appear to have worked their way around it. Postacogla urgently requires recruitments in the central defensive area with Christopher Aja likely to leave this summer if a suitable bid of Arad £15 million is received. Christopher Julian, who had not played this year after his knee injury against Dundee United in December, is likely to be out until October, at least. Ren £4 million right-back Brandon Soppy is also target for Neil Lennon's successor while he is still seeking options for the striker role with Odson Aidwar another who could quit in this transfer window. Make sure you subscribe for more Celtic Football Club news.